It's springtime at Tor Cross and the first of the summer visitors have started to arrive. So too have millions of tiny eels who've travelled thousands of miles from their Sargasso Sea breeding grounds in the southwestern Atlantic Ocean. Some of that multitude swim from the turbulent salty water through this little opening and under the road in Tor Cross to the calm fresh water of Slapton Lee. It's here underneath the grid by the road bridge that a major European survey is taking place. Concerned by a huge drop in numbers throughout Europe, the Indicang project was set up to try and assess the causes. Say what, well, actually, there's actually a lot of glass here in here, so we'll put it straight in the bucket, I think. Traps were set up to monitor migrating eels and check for any signs which might account for such a dramatic decline. Possible causes are overfishing, man-made structures which hamper migration into fresh water, parasites which affect the fish's swim bladder, and changes to the Gulf Stream caused by global warming. The eels come in all shapes and sizes, from the tiny glass eels who've just made the Atlantic journey, to the larger elvers, the yellow eels, and the sexually mature silver eels. It's a huge variety within the same species. Each eel and its type is checked and recorded. The traps work by filtering the freshwater outflow from the lee down a drain pipe. This feeds a constant flow of water through the trap and down a ramp of bristles which makes easy climbing for a determined eel. Assistant Reserve Manager Steve Edmonds explains some of the mysterious life cycle of these fascinating creatures. So we've caught our eels in the traps. Um, as you've seen we've got a mix of the, the glass eels and the yellow eels. So the glass eels, the tiny little ones, only a couple of inches long, weigh less than a gram. They've just swum all the way from the Sargasso Sea, that's in the, in the western Atlantic. So they swum to get here to Slapton, they swum about three or four thousand miles, something like that, carried along on, on various ocean currents in the Gulf Stream. Apart from the glass eels that we've got, we've got some that are two or three years old and then we've even got one big one as well, one that's uh, just over a foot long. Some of them will get even bigger than that, some of the eels will live here in Slapton Lee for anything up to 40, 50 years. They'll weigh up to five, six pounds, they'll get as thick as your arm. So there's some, some big ones in here, even bigger than, than this one that we've got here. Apart from the glass eels, these are all called yellow eels, um, all the same species. What it means is when they're yellow eels, they're just living their life. And then towards the end of the summer, when they're sexually mature, which is when they'll get to somewhere between six and ten years old, depending on which sex they are, um, they'll turn a silver colour. And when their bellies turn silver, that means they're ready to breed. And they'll leave the leaf, they'll go right back across the Atlantic to the Sargasso, uh, ready to breed again. But I think these guys have been in the tub long enough, so we'll, uh, we'll let them go now.